Hi guys, I'm back with new practical. Okay, today we learn how to reset the password of root. How to reset the password for root in our RAL 7. As we know that it's very simple to reset the password in Reddit 6, but in Reddit 7, it's a little complicated. So today I will tell you a few steps with the help of that you can reset the password of rel7 also in a very simple way okay so for first of all we have to reboot our system just reboot your system like i'm using vmware workstation for testing then i reboot my system like my server then press e okay in this what we need to check first of all in grab option you can find linux 16 you can see this is a linux 16 with the server now with the cursor go in the end of the file in the end of the line like here now this write re rd dot break we will run this okay after write this and make sure you will take a space between both of them otherwise it will give a kernel panic right it will be very hard to recover that so be careful so write rd dot break and then as you can see in the bottom press ctrl x to start so if you want to boot you this system with this new changes so you have to press control plus x okay now my system gonna reboot and will boot with the new okay my system here come okay what i need to do now so it is come init ram fs file system so what we need to do we have to remount our file system because which is now a read more read only more so we have to mount it read and write permission with the read and write permission so that we can actually make a changes for that we have to run the command mount remount comma and w sys root wow once the file system has been remounted, now change into search root jail so that slash sys root is used as a root of the file system. For that, we have to run the command search root slash sys. root okay great from here we can reset the password okay password enter i will write the password is red hat i just testing red hat wow we have successfully reset the password here is one thing which is you all have to be careful that is if your system is not using SLNX right so you are good to go you can just reboot your system and you can log in with the new password but the person who are using a system with the SLNX enable mode on that case they will face a problem after reboot the system because when password command runs it will create a new slash etc and set of file as SLNX is not running on this mode so that the file is created without no SLNX context which can be a problem 
when we reboot. So avoid that damage we can create a file dot dot auto dot level with a touch command okay you have to run this command touch dot slash dot auto relabel what will gonna do this file creating this file will automatically reperform all read all relabeling for files on a next reboot so but make sure and one more things keep in your mind that after create this file when you reboot your system it will take some time it depends on the number of files on your file system okay you have to run this command like this okay then reboot your system but in my case i'm not using slinux my slinux is disabled on this system so i should be stuck i i'm not gonna use this file so it was just for demo purpose i'm gonna delete this file Although, okay my file is i deleted okay after this what we need to do we have to just run exit command twice why twice the first exit will exit from the ch root jail environment and the while the second exit will exit from the init ram fs root cell and reboot the system okay now my system gonna reboot okay it will take a few minutes okay it's loading loading wow my system is up let me log in root and run that wow great good job thanks for watching my video if you like my video please share with your friends and subscribe my channel thank you so much